Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here. I just filmed this entire video and realized I didn't hit record. So, I gotta do it again. Um, anyway, sorry if I look a mess. I woke up this morning feeling very icky. And so, yeah, this is why I look this way. So my, since my husband is watching the Super Bowl, I decided to go ahead and make some videos. I'm not a big Super Bowl fan, so, yeah, I didn't watch it. Anyway, I went to the conference this week. And, um, there's another video on that, um, that you can see later. Um, but anyway, after that, I met my husband in the Springs this weekend, since his birthday's on Monday, and we're celebrating Valentine's Day. We like to go to the Springs and get away. So, we stayed at a sleep-in, and we ordered pizza, we watched movies, we goofed off, we played games, we had so much fun. Um, but... For his birthday, what he wanted to do was he wanted to go to Goodwill. So we got to sleep in right across from Goodwill in the morning. Next morning, we woke up and we went straight there. So I wanted to share some of the stuff that I got from Goodwill. First thing that I got was, oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Seuss. It was $2 and I couldn't pass it up. And since I'm a huge book fan, I bought it. Second thing is my husband and I, when we finally do get pregnant, we want to be natural. We want to go as natural as possible with our kids. I've already mentioned on my blog that we want to do cloth diapers, um, and we're, we're going to also be making our own baby food and breastfeeding and all that stuff. Now we don't have a problem with those of you who do disposable diapers and um, buy the food or formula feed. I mean, don't get me wrong, we don't have a problem with it. This is just something that we want to choose. A lot of the reason is because it's cheaper for us, um, and since we don't know what my husband's job is going to look like these next few years, because uh, it's kind of touch and go in the winters. Anyway, so I'm telling you all this because I found this book in the book section for first meals, and it is awesome. It talks about the different stages in a baby's life, what's good for them to eat, the equipment that they should use, it gives recipes, um, how to store the food, how it, what's the best way to um, keep the food. I mean, serving utensils, you name it, it's in here. And it goes all the way up into their toddler years. So, it was such a good deal. It was $2 as well, so I thought I might as well buy this book. And then, to go along with the baby theme. I know, we're not pregnant, but this is stuff that I feel like it's going to come in handy someday. If they're, we would give it away, or whatnot. Anyway... I don't know how many of you have seen the Fridge Phonics, um, where you stick it on your fridge and it's by Leap Frog. My sister-in-law has it and she loves it. She's with her kids and they love it. And then we have friends who have it and he's actually, their son has really gotten a lot out of it. So we decided to go ahead and buy it because it was only $5 for this entire bag. And then it also has the word builder, but I won't show you that because the batteries are done. So here's how it works. Turns on. Play the alphabet. And then also it has these magnetic letters. They pop right in. You push on it. Every letter makes a sound. And as a teacher, this is awesome. Phonics are hard for kids to learn, so you can never start them too early. So we bought that. The last thing I want to share with you that we bought along the baby subject, and I, like I said, when you find good deals and you know it's somebody going to be useful, you don't pass it up. So, let me scooch back so I can show you. We found this huge Graco diaper bag, and it's, I love it. I love the pattern. I love the colors of it. You can't see, but it's got like pretty purples and kind of greens. Um, but it's huge. It has this nice snap. And here's the inside. It has this little pouch that would be really handy. Um, it has the side pockets. It has front. It has this front pocket. Um, anyway, it was just too good of a deal to pass up because it was only six dollars, six ninety nine, um, with a really nice shoulder strap and everything. So about that too. And he got some clothes and he got some stuff, but I don't need to share that with you. 
Um, so that's what we did first. We went to Goodwill, because that's what he wanted to do first and get out of the way. He also wanted to go to Best Buy, because he, since we have a landline now, he wanted to buy a fax machine, so we got him a fax machine. Uh, let's see. We went to Barnes & Noble. Well, he was in Best Buy. I went to Barnes & Noble, I should say. And I bought some books I found since we're doing, uh, sorry, we're going to do animal reports in a couple weeks. We're going to do, well, different types, bird reports and like, stuff like that. It has this book, and it is so cool. It's one of the coolest books, um, I've ever seen. And it was only $8. It's hardcover, and it has almost every animal you can imagine. Anyway, my husband even agreed, yeah, we need to get that book. Because even with our old kid, own kids, it'll be handy. I've got the book Tuesday. I'm going to use this in a activity that I do in my classroom. And then this cute little $6 book called Danny the Duck with No Quack, who's really shy, like me. So I got that one. Um, so that's what we did at Good or at Barnes and Noble. We also went to Target, and I got. I don't know if you've ever checked out the dollar section, but they have the coolest books for a dollar. And I'm sorry, Rich and Scary, too cool. To pass up, so you have to get that. And then who doesn't love a pop-up book? So yeah, bought those at Target. He got some stuff there too. Uh, then he wanted to go to Ross, and I talked him into letting me look at the baby stuff, and you can buy a few things. So we got these really cute bibs because we don't have any bibs that don't come with outfits yet, like the the wash, the waterproof ones. And these were six dollars. <laughs> Check out this outfit. Isn't that so cute? It has the bib with it. But look, oh my word. It's like one of the cutest outfits I've ever seen. And it was $4, so we got that. And then he actually, this is funny, because he doesn't like me buying baby clothes, but he bought this. He loves Puma, obsessed with Puma. And his, he says he's going to see if he can um, sell it for more online. He probably won't be able to. But I wasn't going to say no to him buying it, but it has this bib. It says Puma. And then... This one says Puma on it. So, I thought that was so cute. And I was not going to tell him no. Alright, so that's what we did. And then he wanted to surprise me and buy me something for Valentine's Day. Because he hasn't gotten me a Valentine's Day present. Which we, this is a mutual decision, in years. The last piece of jewelry he's ever bought me, the last flowers he's ever bought me was my engagement ring. I didn't even get a wedding band because I didn't want one. So he told me that he had this $25 off coupon or to a diamond store in our area, and which is called Ultra Diamonds, if you've never heard of it. it's They have um, pretty good deals there. So anyway, he bought me something there like years and years ago when we were just dating. So he took me there and told me to pick something out that I wanted, and he didn't give me a price range, so I was like floundering. I didn't know what he wanted me to spend. So we actually checked out the clearance rack, because that's how I am. And, I don't know if you can see it, but he bought me this diamond ring, and it is so pretty. I love it. So I don't know if you can see that, but that was my Valentine's Day present for like the last three years. So that was exciting. Um... But yeah, that was our weekend, and then we came home, and then I woke up this morning with the stomach ache, so that was kind of pits. And I'm trying to think. We He got to choose all the restaurants. He ch chose Chick-fil-A and Panda Express for our meals. <laughs> he, we're, we don't like to get fancy. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. He got, some, he got lots of stuff for his birthday. It was pretty exciting. I think that's it. So, anyway, that was a look at our weekend, and I hope that you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my conference video, oops, and my trying to conceive video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.